Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at, well, a little something that could potentially be quite bad that is pretty prevalent on the internet. What we're looking at today is a web bug. Now, a bug doesn't refer to, you know, bugs in the programming context, that is an error in a code, you know, something gone wrong. No, not in this case. Instead, the definition of bug used here would be closer to that of back in the days where people actually bugged telephones to tap in and listen to your conversation. You see, web bugs tend to be just these little things embedded into web pages or emails that, when opened, actually tracks you in one way or another. Of course, this makes it sound a little bit scarier than it actually is, so instead of actually, you know, talking about this in a generic manner, let's take a look at one particular example. Let's say, for example, you receive a spam email. Now, apart from all the text that is getting you to buy medication cheap, the end of the email also includes a little image. This image is not something you can see because it is just one pixel by one pixel in size. In fact, the proper name for this is a pixel tag. So just a very, very tiny image and its job obviously is not for you to see it. Instead, when you actually load up the email, your email client will request for the image since it sees that an image should be displayed there. The act of requesting for this image actually sends a request that, well, whoever sent the original spam email can then take note of. Here's one practical use of having a pixel tag in a spam email. Perhaps a spammer doesn't really know if email accounts are active or not. So all they do is they just broadcast a whole load of spam to a whole load of different addresses. For each one of these messages, the pixel tag is actually slightly different. Perhaps it has a different file name or it has just some different suffix in the file name. What then happens is when you actually open the spam email and the pixel tag loads, well, the spammer is now able to check and confirm that, you know, since this particular pixel tag was requested, what this means is this email was delivered successfully to this particular email address, and thus that tells him that that particular email address is actually active. And that is what people mean when they associate tracking with a pixel tag or any other type of web bug. It's just finding out little bits of information like this that they would otherwise not know. The reason why I bring up a pixel tag is because that is one of the most common ways that web bugs are actually implemented. In fact, it seems that quite a lot of websites actually do load one by one images, perhaps even multiple of them. So yeah, web bugs are in use and seem to be, you know, pretty common. Anyway, that's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something today. But until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV.